Hey, welcome to Games with Trev. I'm Monique and this is Trev. And today we're going to be talking about some beginner board games or if like if you're just getting into the hobby. And if you're here watching this video, welcome. We're super excited to tell you about some of our favorite games that are super simple and super fun. To preface this video, I'd like to say that this video is not in any particular order and we're not ranking the games at all. We just want to tell you about some of our favorite games. To start out with, I want to tell you about Splendor. This is honestly one of my all time favorite games because it's what we call a resource management game. And that means basically you have a couple different resources and you're trying to maximize them to get the most amount of points. This game is really simple. Basically all I have to do is either get gems or acquire resources or buy cards. And by doing this, you can get points and really honestly just become the best person ever at jewel hunting. <laughs> and so really, it is really just a fun game. Is and that it, what it's called? I don't know. I just made that up, I guess. <laughs> but it sure feels like it. I know that you're supposed to be like a jeweler. That's true. That's what you're supposed to be. So, but it's fine. Anyway, the other thing I'd like to say is that this game is for two to four players. And if you really like two player games or you're only wanting to play with just like your significant other or a really good friend, look out for Splendor Duel. This game is awesome. We just did a whole review on it and you should check it out. It is such a really great game. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite two player games. So really just check that one out and let me know what you think about it. It's awesome. The next game we're going to talk about is Dominion. And this was actually the very first board game I played that wasn't Monopoly or Mousetrap <laughs> or Uno or any of those <laughs> beloved ones we all played. Um, but it really just made me excited to play it. And basically what's happening in the game is you're building a deck with your cards. And as you build your deck, you get further along in the game mm -hmm. and you can win by the end, basically. And... I love the thing that I love most about this game is that you can switch different cards so you can mm -hmm. see different decks as you play different games. True. The other cool thing about this game is there's a ton of expansions. So if you really like it, there's so many new unique cards out there. I think there's like four or five boxes of them. And so really look out for this game. This was my first game too way back when and it really just made me open my eyes to what are the possibilities of board games. So honestly, go check that one out. The next game is called Forbidden Island. This is the first game in a series that I'm going to call the Forbidden Series. There's three of them in it. And basically, they're all cooperative games. And that means you work together with your fellow, fellow players to beat the game or beat the board. And if you're anything like my dad and hate that idea, then you can just skip to the next game. <laughs> Because honestly, cooperative games are so much fun. And as I play new ones, it makes me way more excited. But this game gets you just kind of thinking that thinking way. and ready for those kind of ideas. Basically, you're on this island and you're trying to find relics and get back to your ship before the island sinks in the water. And it's really hard, actually. And you can make it more difficult by moving up the tracker which is super fun, and I love that they added a way to increase the intensity of the That's game. That's true. But if you love this game, go check out Forbidden Desert. It is another great game, the sequel to this game, exact, in fact. And it is a game that me and Monique have yet to win. So, <laughs> so if hard. you can win on the easiest level, please let me know, and I'd love to play it with you because I'm bad at that game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next game today is... Hand-to-Hand -hand Wombat. Wombat. <laughs> it's so fun. Literally, the theming, everything about it is so cool. This is like a deduction game mm -hmm. and kind of like a cooperative game. It's got different parts of it. But what you're doing is that you're all Wombats and you're trying to build a tower. Unless you're the bad Wombat, then you're trying to take it down. <laughs> but the catch is all of you have your eyes closed. And so everybody's hands in the box going crazy and you got to try and figure out who the bad wa wombat is. And I love this game just because like the chaos that ensues is incredible. It's insane. And just like, <laughs> I don't know, the dexterity of my hands trying to count the little. Yeah. The thing, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I'm five again. I don't know. <laughs> it is so much fun. And honestly, it's one of the best social deduction games or trying to figure out who the bad person is. And it's a really great insight to it. Another great social deduction game that we love is Secret Hitler. 
And so if you love hand-to-hand wombat, check out for that one because that one's way more strategic and you've got to plan out every single action. So really look out for that one. So true. Our last game on our basic list of board games is going to be Card Cassone. This is a game that's been out for literally 20 years. <laughs> it's that good. It's that good. And they keep making expansions for it. That's how good it is. It basically is what we call a tile laying game. So basically you have these tiles that are flipped over and you basically have to pick one up, look at it, and add it to the board. And when you add it to the board, you get an opportunity to add your own little meeple or character to the board to gain points. And the game is all about maximizing your point value. And really, just honestly, being the best knight because there's no other pl- no other better person in the game than a knight. I think for those that really like puzzles and like oh, yeah, thinking for sure, actually, like through things, like tile laying games, especially Carcassonne, are great options for you mm-hmm. because you constantly have to think, okay, if I place this here, am I going to get this point? I'm going to place this here. I'm going to get this many points, and so you're constantly just thinking about where you're going to place your next tile. It's true. And the best part about this game is you can learn it in literally three minutes. It's true. That's how easy this game is. I'm not even kidding. I promise you. I'm going to look it up and I will put it in this video. There is a video that I'm pretty sure you can learn in either three or five minutes. Like it's awesome. That's how easy it is. And it's awesome. It is one of the best games. And honestly, the more you play it, the more you're going to learn the strategy and the more you're going to learn how to play it better. And you can add in expansions and change up the game completely, which is awesome. Anyway, we thank you guys for joining us today on our five games for beginners. If you like this video and want us to do a part two, let us know down below. We're more than happy to. We have a ton of board games that we think are great for new players. And if you want to want us to talk about some maybe some more advanced games, also let us know. But if we missed a game to this list that you think should be on it, please drop it down below. I want to play it yeah, if we, we haven't played it. We want to play it. We want to <laughs> find out. There's so many great games. On our last video, I asked that question of like, oh, did we miss a game? And I got maybe five or six comments with like five or six games in all of them. And I was like, holy moly, I want to play all of these right now. So we're looking into buying some of them and we're super excited to try them out. So we're super grateful for you guys and everything that you do. Um, Just remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you liked this video and we'll see you next time. See you guys.